Andrew Malcolm here, Mortgage HQ. Today we're continuing on with the property cycle series and we're gonna talk about the boom phase. This is spring going into summer. This is party time, this is excitement. This is when everyone's talking about property investing. If you're not in property investing, you wanna get into, uh, into property investing. If you do have properties, you wanna buy more and you're starting to think, you know, is this the top of the market? And every time you think it's the top, it just keeps going up and up and up and uh, New Zealand, uh, in, in particular Auckland, have had some really big boom phases recently, so we'll, we'll talk about those numbers towards the end of the video. What is a boom phase? What are the characteristics? Now this is where there's confidence everywhere. Most people, except for your contrarian investors, uh, which I'll explain in a sec, are really excited about property investing. They want to buy, they, you know, they're watching the values of their property go up and they don't want to miss out, they want to keep buying. The supply side, cannot keep up with demand you know and and that's what we've seen over and over in in new zealand especially in the major cities is because we haven't been able to build enough houses for the demand and because auckland wellington you know a lot of places in new zealand are such highly desirable places even relatively when you compare them globally um, there's a lot of demand domestically and internationally to live in our main centers and that's why that boom phase especially recently has been quite long is because the demand has been so strong and at 800,000 or 1 million or 1.2 people are still keen to keep buying and that's just economics in play if um, you look at a house and you think oh 1 million dollars that's ridiculous it's not worth that but uh, you know a hundred other people think it, it is then those hundred other people far outweigh your decision uh, your your um, opinion so you just gotta say hey look this is the market this is the the market value it is a seller's market this way you see so many people in a boom market they sell one or two properties they realize a lot of gains um, but they might miss the forest for the trees and a lot of people jump the gun you know, it might be the start of a boom phase they sell a property feel like they made a massive gain because they bought the house 5 10 15 years ago and then what ends up happening is that boom phase keeps going and they realize probably sold a little bit too early it can be really dangerous to sell in a boom phase and not immediately buy if that's your plan because if you miss out on six months of gains in a boom phase you might end up paying a lot more so just keep that in mind the capital growth and the rate of capital growth is increasing in a boom phase the yields go down and the media is talking about um, just excitement 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 and there'll be a lot of FOMO you know in the in the last Five, 10 years especially in Auckland there's been a lot of chatter especially around first first home buyers FOMO in the market there's a fear of missing out and it's totally grounded in reality because if people don't buy you know you go back to 2017 and you compare the prices now there's been a massive gain in a lot of places so if you could have bought then and you didn't you've missed out big time in a boom phase the agents get really busy they don't call you back it's really hard to get hold of them and I'm sure you've experienced that if you've been looking at properties anytime in the recent uh, past agents have been really hard to deal with because there's so much demand on their attention and it's really easy for them to sell houses there's also a corresponding renovation boom in a in a boom phase of property cycle because people have extra capital gains feeling wealthy uh, they want to live as good as they can so they're borrowing against that equity that you know five years ago wasn't there banks are also going to get FOMO in the, in the boom phase they're keen to lend uh, they're incentivizing even more lending and switching so you'll see bigger cashbacks and people are spending their capital gains on jet skis cars holidays um, everyone's feeling wealthy now some key figures I want to talk about just so you can understand that uh, different cities hit boom phases in different times if you take Auckland in the five years to 2016 so from 2011 to 2016 there's an 81% average increase in prices <coughs> in Auckland but the income increase was only 17% so you can see in that five-year period there was a massive massive gain in Auckland up to 2016 in Wellington we see a slight delay so the five years from 2016 to 2021 there was an 83% increase in price uh, in house values in Wellington but the income only went up 28% so you can see in those five year periods there was quite a bit of difference in time but and, and the value relative of those house uh, increases to income increases is quite a vast amount so it is getting harder to buy houses and you just need to you know when people talk about um, 
for example, there's a lot of noise around Christchurch being behind Auckland and Wellington, and that might be the next place to boom. Uh, you just have to look at the numbers, try and understand the market, predict, okay, is it, if there's a boom in Christchurch, is this gonna massively increase my wealth? Is this a risk that I wanna take? Or have they had their boom, and this is the values that are of the current day more reflective of, of that demand and supply. So boom phase, it's exciting. Uh, you can buy in that boom phase, especially if you identify that we're going into boom, buying early in the boom phase, that five year period can get you a lot of gains. And if you're a buy and hold investor, you know, it's best to ride that wave. Don't sell too early unless that's part of your plan. And, and if you do sell, try and replace the asset quickly. So let us know in the comments below if you've got more questions about property cycles. Don't forget to subscribe.